You're receiving this error message, gateway timeout. The gateway did not receive a timely response from the upstream server or application on your WordPress site, then this video may help you. So I've managed a couple of WordPress websites and some some of them are re receiving this error message. I've migrated the website over to a hosting provider and this is the error message. Now I'm going to show you a couple of ways on how to fix this and hopefully it will work. The first one you need to SSH into your server. If you don't have SSH then you may be able to do it through the control panel and I'll show you that, that. that's the second option. So this first option you need to go to this path and this folder the Apache 2 config file and you'll see here at the top timeout 30. So what's happening is that when you're requesting a page it's taking more than 30 seconds and then it times out and it shows you the gateway timeout error message. So what you can do is you can increase this. So I'm just going to increase it to 60 and if you're still getting problems with 60 you can increase it even more. So on some websites that I'm using a cron job I tend to put it to 5 minutes but in this particular website I don't have that option I'm just going to put it to 60. So I'm just going to save it. I'm not going to go through the commands. This is just the VI and saved it. There you go. Once you've saved it, you've got to restart the service, the Apache 2 service. And that's restarted. So let me see. I'm going to refresh this page. Okay, so now it's loaded. Everything looks fine. So that was option one. And that's modifying the Apache 2 config file. And you, if you're using a control panel, so I'm using Hestia CP. This is how the this is how the Hestia CP or Hestia so this is how the Hestia control panel looks like. Then you go to Apache 2. You will see it here that it's been updated to 60 from 30. So you can also change it in here. You can increase it to 5 minutes if you wanted to. So you got to remember this is in seconds. Now if those two options did not work so if those two options didn't work, you can go to, you can increase the max execu execution time and max input time. So by default they're also 60, you can increase that. And you might also want to increase the memory limit. Now if this also doesn't work, just got to make sure you save it. Now if this also doesn't work, and you're still getting the timeouts, you can go to so this is the Jinx configuration and as you can see here there's a few timeout settings so send timeout, proxy connect timeout, proxy send timeout, proxy read timeout. Just increase these ones, play around with it and see whether you get the same issue with the gateway timeout. Hopefully the first two options fixed the problem and you don't have to make any further changes but if you did you've still got the two other options to configure the other timeouts and hopefully this may have helped you. If this video helped you in any way please give a like, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so that I can provide you with more videos and you'll receive it via the notification.